right here. If you need to step it out, step it out. If not, pick it up. Let's go. Come on. Good job. 15 more seconds here. And we're going to some squats. The first part of our hundreds today. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Take those legs out super wide. Toes out towards the corners of the room. Two more squats. Twelve, please. Down and up for twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Make sure that core is engaged. Five. Chest and head up. Three. Squeezing those inner thighs. Last one. Beautiful job. Shake it out. Come into our push-ups. First 12, nice and wide. You can use the countertop or come on down to that mat. Here we go. 12, please. I'm going to go a little bit wider than that mat. And I'm starting on my knees first thing. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Beautiful job. Nice and safely. Come on up. We're transitioning quick here today, okay? All right. You do your best. Regular squat, so not out nice and wide. You're going to come in a little bit, a little bit wider than those hips. Toes to be forward or out slightly. Here we go. 12, please. Round two. Here we go. Two, three, four, five. Make sure you're squeezing the butt at the top. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Regular push-ups. Regular push-ups. Here we go. Twelve, please. So my hands are about as wide as the mat. You're halfway. Six more. Now if you can only go halfway down, that's fine. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. I did an extra credit one there for a moment. I was ready to just keep on going. All right, narrow, narrow squats, narrow squats, chair squat. So you can do squats, some people do narrow squats with feet together, but I'm talking about chair squats. So about two fist distance, shoulders down and back, nice and tall, knees track forward, toes are forward, elbows, if hands are up, elbows go towards the knees, they may touch, they may not, this depends on you, okay? Ass left, we're still warming up, so you might not get that low, and that's okay. Here we go, ready? 12, 11, 10, 9, make sure we're hinging at those hips, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, beautiful job, you're already 36 squats in, 12, narrow push-ups, so, military push-ups, not diamonds, okay, unless you want to, but elbows stay in close to the body. Squeeze those ribs. Scrape those ribs at your side. Here we go. Bring it on down. Ready? Down and up for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Those ones are probably the hardest, I believe. At least for me, they are. Good job. Come on up. Check it out. Sip that water. We got 36 squats done. 36 push-ups done. We're continuing on. Are you ready? In between, we're going to give those squats and push-ups a little rest. All right, sip your water. Here we go. Lunges. Now, this is where those dumbbells come into action. Dumbbells at your side. I'm going to start nice and light. You can also do this without weights. You don't need weights here. I'm going to start with some fives here. Again, if you're, especially if you're just starting out first thing in the morning, do it without weights first and then gradually start to up and progress that weight, okay? Lunges, only 12 each side. Stationary, so one foot forward, one foot back. Make sure you're on those railroad tracks, not on a tight wire. Ready? Lean down with the back knee. Now, if you were to come all the way down, you would be about 90 degrees. So I need to take a little step back here. There we go. Tuck those toes, are you ready? Here we go. 12, 
Chest and head up. Eight. Knees forward. Seven. Remember, you can do those sit and stand if you need to. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Woo! Five. Four. Three. You got this. Two. One and done. Beautiful job. Set those weights down. Narrow. Push up. Let's go. Woo! All right, so do as many as you can on the toes if you can. And then come down to those feet. Scrape those elbows along the sides. You can always come down to the knees or to a countertop at any time, all right? All right, and let's see how many I can do today. You never know unless you try. Here we go. I got four. Oh, 
can be considered split squats too. So that was even more extra credit for those squats today. Great job. Sip your water. Come on down to that mat. Come on down to that mat. You can bring your water with you if you want. No weight needed. Unless you're ready. Maybe you add weight with your crunches. Maybe you hold a plate weight or a dumbbell on your chest. You can add a little bit of weight. Remember, heart face to the ceiling. Are you ready? Are you ready? I hope so. Bring it on down. 40. 40 regular crunches. Let's go. Count to yourself. You can have your hands behind the head as long as that heart is going towards the ceiling and you're not pulling on the head, okay? Or if you have a tendency to pull on the head, keep the hands on the chest. That's 20, I'm halfway, where are you at? Keep counting. I got 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. 40 done. Woo. Get to that 40. All right. Maybe bring those knees into the chest. You can hug it out for a moment. Coming into a reverse crunch. Reverse crunch, okay? So, from here, arms down at your sides. Feet up 90 degrees. You're gonna tap the toes and lift. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Now, if you have any lower back Get those hands right underneath the top of the booty. Right here. Good. Rest the head. Rest the head. Hands where they need to be. Legs up 90 degrees. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Now, this is just an option. Reverse crunch or toe tap, if you will, with a bent knee. Coming up on 20 here. We can come into a reverse crunch in the sense of lifting the hips up off the ground, okay? So from that 90, you're gonna lift, lift the hips. You can have legs up, lift the heels to the heavens. So you can have legs down, lift the hips. The goal is to lower those hips nice and slowly, okay? Come on, up and down, up and down. Legs bent or straight. Heels to the heavens, also a reverse crunch. You're utilizing that lower belly to lower down that booty nice and slow. Good, so this might take some time here. Good job, take your time. Rest if you need to. Woo! Good, again, you can have the knees bent. Just giving you some options here. These are other styles of crunches, reverse crunch. Good, I got five more here. Four, three, two, and rest. Good job. As you can see, you'll notice that the booty wants to fall to the floor. It's totally normal. It's okay. Bring those knees in. Hug it out. You've got 80 crunches done. You only got 20 more to do. We're going to combine those crunches. Combo crunch. So, in this case, I'm going to keep the legs bent, hands behind the head. You're going to come down, up, lift the hips. Crunch. Crunch. Again, if this is too much, stick to those traditional crunches if needed. Breathe. Take your time. Make sure you're not pulling on that head. Take your time. Good job. Only 20 here. Only 20. I got eight more. Eight. Seven. You can even take those toes out. Tap them down. Woo! Depending on you, you choose your level. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Rest the head, bring those knees in, hug it out. You did it! Woo! 100 crunches, done.
beautiful jab, keeping one knee in. One leg out nice and long. While we're laying on the floor, let's get a nice little spinal twist. Take that leg across the body, nice and easy. High gaze to the opposite direction. Arm out. Nice deep breath. You know it's a good workout when you got sweat rolling in the eyes. Gently release, come back to center. Hug it out. Other knee in. Spinal twist. Other side. Take it easy. Gently come back to center. Give yourself a nice big hug. And then when you're ready, come on up into a seated position. Beautiful job. All right. Let's get into those hamstrings while we're seated. Sound good? I hope so. I'm going to turn to the side here. All right. Feet out in front. All right, nice and tall, push those heels forward. Seated up against, like you're seated up against the back of a wall. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach as far forward as you can. Maybe you can reach the toes, maybe not. Good, maybe you just hold on to the legs. Woo, my hamstrings are pretty tight. Good, gently release one more time. Inhale, tall, exhale, reach. forward, just sit, or just face forward for a moment. So with the legs on front, you're going to bring one foot towards the booty. So kind of lean to the side. Bring one foot to the booty, getting a nice little thigh stretch here. Just an option instead of standing. Give you some seated stretches here today. Or on the floor, floor stretches, if you will. <laughs> Good. If you need more here, you can start to lean back. Start to walk those hands back. One more deep breath. Gently release, other side. <clears throat> Good, I'm gonna bring it in. You can stay tall or you can start to lean back. You can even go as far as forearms or leg all the way back. Just depends on you and your flexibility. As long as that knee is going towards the floor, okay? So we don't want that knee to come up off the ground. Make sure that knee's on the floor. So if you come all the way back to the forearms and that knee comes up, then maybe you stay up a little bit higher, okay? <clears throat> Beautiful job, my friends. Nice and easy. Coming into a standing position. Take your time. Safely. Flip it on over. Good. One leg. Make sure that ankle's underneath that knee. Nice and strong so you can push up to stand up. Try not to put pressure in that, in that leg if you can help it, okay? All right. Let's get a nice little shoulder stretch, shall we? Bring it, I got hair in my eyeball. Here we go. One arm out and bring it across. Hug it in. Great job today. Thanks for joining me. Now, if you don't quite feel this stretch, push this arm into that hand. Push it into that hand. You'll feel it into that shoulder blade a little bit more. Good. Give yourself some wrist circles, wrist rotations, point flex, especially after all those push-ups. You guys did a fabulous job. If you do have wrist issues with those push-ups, now you can always come to those fists if you need to. But remember, when we're in that push-up position, treat those palms like suction cups, okay? So pushing into that outer edge of that hand into those fingertips and the knuckles and the outer edges to really protect the wrist. So you don't want to dump into the wrist, okay? So think about spreading out that weight across that entire hand, okay? Other arm, bring it across, hug it in, push that arm into that hand, wrist rotations. Oh, feels good to be back. Happy Monday, or whatever day it is that you're watching this. Wrist rotations, other direction. Point flex if you'd like. Beautiful job. And give yourself some huggers. Nice and easy. Good. Shoulder rolls. And some shoulder rolls forward. Give yourself a couple more huggers. Inhale those arms up overhead. Exhale. Give yourselves a round of applause, my friends. You did it.